Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is extra special because I am taking you on tour of our new tropical garden setup in our new home. I am so excited to share the process of turning this black canvas into tropical paradise. And Mr. Leo is here to help me. Let's get started. So it is an east facing quite big but closed balcony space that won't stop me from creating my green heaven. Actually for many days I have been wishing to create that cozy tropical indoor jungle and now I can create lush jungle here. Let me first share what exactly mean tropical garden. So the tropical garden boasts lush vibrant features that mimic the beauty of tropical regions. They typically include rich variety of exotic plants with bold foliage and vibrant flowers like palms, ferns, monsteras, orchids, colorful bromeliads and anthuriums. The atmosphere is enhanced by a layer of plants creating dense jungle-like feel and adding water elements like ponds or fountains contribute to this tropical ambience. But I want all these elements in my indoor garden to create mini tropical heaven. So I am going to have several potted plants with bold leaves and some vibrant flowers and hang some tropical plants to maximize space. Let's see how it looks. So last weekend I visited some nurseries and got few plant stand and of course few more plants. This is fully furnished home, so already we have some furniture here on which I am going to keep my plants to make most of our space and to avoid any furniture damage due to water spills or soil, I am placing these transparent waterproof protectors. I got different types of plant stand here, so first I will keep them in place. Always remember before creating or exhibiting your garden, it could be backyard, terrace or small balcony garden makeover, planning is key. It is very important you to plan out the layout on paper for big space or just decide what kind of garden look you want. Keeping in mind the sunlight, shade and the overall vibe you wanted to create. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something to guide us as we go along. I envisioned lots of tropical plants, some vibrant flowers, few succulents and cozy sitting come working space here. Alright, I have placed few stands, now it's time to keep plants. I will start from this corner. Choosing the right plants is always the fun part. It's all about choosing what fits your space and style. But most essential is to consider the climate in your area and choose plants that thrive in your region. I have selected plants with different heights, leaf shapes, forms and colors to give effect of different layers. Plant layering really contributes to creating a more natural and aesthetically pleasing indoor environment that mimics the diverse layer found in natural ecosystem. Instead of placing plants in one row, place them in different heights and arrange them strategically to make the most of your space. Remember, vertical is your friend when dealing with small area. Most of these plants are low maintenance and have placed them as per their light requirements. One common thing that is very important for all these plants is good humidity. It is essential to mist them couple of times a week. For plant identification, please check out my previous videos plant tour part 1 and 2. We will share the links in the description box. This is what now this corner looks like. Moving to the next corner, I am placing tall plants as a backdrop to cover the empty corners. 
I am also keeping variegated plants close to the windows because the beauty of variegated plants lies in their unique color patterns. Exposure to the natural light enhances the intensity of these colors making the foliage more vibrant and visually appealing. And to break the green monotony here, I am placing one beautiful aglonema with bright bold red leaves. I think sunlight streaming through windows create warm and inviting atmosphere in the home. Placing variegated colorful plants near windows not only benefits the plants but also enhances the overall aesthetic appeal of your living space. Here is an old fruit basket that I am using to keep these small plants. And these are different beautiful cultivars of Syngoniums. These are some winter flowers. As I already shared, this is an east facing balcony and receives good amount of sunlight the whole day. East facing balconies receive gentle morning sunlight, generally less intense than the harsh afternoon sun. And winter flowering plants often appreciate this milder sunlight exposure that prevents potential sunburn of their delicate blooms. Time to keep succulents. This is cute little stand that I got especially for my succulents. Let's talk about why it's super important to keep these cacti and succulents close to windows. These little plants love sunlight and placing them near to window is like giving them their daily dose of sunshine. Cacti and succulents come from arid region where they soak up lots of sunlight to stay happy and healthy. So keep them in sunny spots. They will reward you with vibrant colors. I am going to set up this space in the last. Mr. Leo is monitoring everything and now he wants to play with me. Coming back to our garden setup, here in the middle we have good space that I am going to use to keep my giant sword fern as the centerpiece of the garden. Placing it at the center of the garden adds burst of lush greenery. The feathery elegant fronds create natural focal point. The way they drop down, I just love it. This fun is not just about looks, it's great air purifier and creates fresh and vibrant atmosphere. Always remember using different styles of stands not only looks awesome but also maximizes the green space. Now coming back to this space, I am going to use this area for sitting come working purpose. To make our balcony feel extra special, we added this beautiful small water fountain. I love water features in the garden, they are pure magic. Adding that gentle water sound is like turning your space into tranquil oasis. For tropical jungle look, give different types of plants that create interest with different forms, shapes, colors and textures. And for that lush rainforest feel, I have placed humidifier here. And now the whole space is misty and magical. The calming soothing water sound makes the garden space the ultimate relaxation spot. Suddenly your garden is not just visual delight, it's sensory symphony. Trust me, it's not just fountain, it's mood changer. Just one thing you need to remember is clean your water fountain once a month to avoid any algae formation. Here I have made some arrangements with my sky plants. 
and here is my spanish moss and hanging plants for that finishing magic touch hanging plants add that finishing touch and transfer your balcony into green wonderland they bring splash of nature at eye level making the space feel lush and complete plus they save floor space giving the balcony an airy vibe We also found some cute garden decor elements, plant frames and wind chime. It's these little touches that make it uniquely ours. And there you have it, our new garden oasis. So guys, creating tropical garden is all about embracing lush, vibrant plants and creating relaxing atmosphere. Tailoring it to fit the available space and your personal style preference. Whether it's small balcony or spacious backyard, there is always room for touch of the tropics at home. Morning light on plants is pure magic, soft and gentle, it turns leaves into glowing gems. Nature's beauty shines in the morning sunshine, simple yet enchanting spectacle. It's reminder that even the smallest moments can be the most breathtaking. The soft, diffused morning light creates gentle ambience and highlights the beauty of the blooms. We can't wait to spend countless hours enjoying this place, sipping my morning coffee surrounded by these leafy charmers. It's the perfect spot to relax. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. Happy gardening!